Olympic boxers will duke it out in Paris this weekend for gold medals while closer to home. A new breed of Memphis fighters is stepping into the ring. Well, actually, Joe, it's an octagon and fighters are trained at a special law school. We asked Matt Enfield to make sense of all of this. Look, we got knees. Brian Hall joined the Memphis Police Department in 2003 and enjoyed the free food that came with it. Basically, I gained 40 pounds from the academy to 2007. Looking for a way to shed the weight, Paul found a community center in Raleigh that offered free MMA workouts. A five-time wrestling state champion in high school, Paul was hooked. And I fell in love with it, and I went to one fight. A month later, I had my first fight. Paul became a professional fighter, and by 2018, was also coaching at UFC gym in Germantown. Yep. By 2020, he had plans to open his own shop. I found this beautiful place here uh, off Park and Get Well. It was empty, abandoned with cars and mattresses. The back of Godbod Fitness is where Hall planted his flag, but he needed a few things. First, a name. Someone gave me the nickname The Law because I'm a police officer for 21 years. And with the name The Law, when I was teaching classes, they came up like students. They was like, man, I'm going to law school today. And I was like, oh, that's a catchy name. Name, check. Then, he needed buy-in. Like, that, who else could believe in a, in, a, in a move? Who else believed in a journey, you know? So, so it was just a journey within itself. Westwood High alum Danny Barlow fights in the UFC. And like his sparring partner and fellow Memphian Jaleel Willis, who fights in Bellator, Paul has been there from the start. I'm, I'm telling you, man, we travel around the world, and people will look at me, Brian, Danny, Paul, and with awe of, like, Wishing. I've seen pro fighters look at they coach and look at Brian and wish that they had that type of bond. You walk in the gym and the first thing you notice, there's no climate control. It's an ice box in the winter and a sauna in the summer. But there's a method to the badness because the fighters believe if they can push through the brutal training sessions here, they're ready for anything once that bell rings and they step into the octagon for a fight for real. That was never more evident than when Barlow scored law school's signature victory to date, prevailing in his UFC debut despite breaking his arm in the first round. If you can remember where you come from, the mindset that we give here, if you can remember where you come from, Memphis, Tennessee, the bottom, the struggle, the grit, the heat, like, man, you can be, you can be successful anywhere, man. Once I got to that highest level, I seen how important it was, like, then to say I did it with, from being from Memphis with Memphis resources. Nobody ever did that, bro. In just four years, law school MMA has gone from a lot full of trash to the most successful MMA gym in Memphis. The secret to the sauce is grit and grind. That's the secret here, you know what I mean? It's like it's, and it really ain't even a secret. But if what we was doing was easy, everybody would be over here doing it, you know? And it ain't easy. If you want to watch the MMA scene in Memphis explode, it's simple, follow the law. More people gonna start looking for guys, you know what I'm saying, coming out of Memphis with the Memphis resources. The world gonna see that we got a future champion here in Memphis. In the Octagon, Matt at Field, Action News 5. So if you're interested in going to law school, check <laughs> out the instructors and the training schedule online. We posted a link to Law School MMA with this story at actionnews5.com.